Hello, Gemini love. Welcome to Soul Sparks Tarot and your love reading for the week of February 15 to 22. Or whenever you view this video, that's when you're meant to hear it. This is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. And the energies I tap into may be vice versa. If this doesn't sound like your story, also check my readings for your moon, rising, and Venus signs as your messages might be there. Let's now close our eyes for a moment to calm our minds, raise our vibe, and be open to what is. Now take a deep breath, and let's begin. We've got the Ten of Cups driving your reading. And this is about feeling whole and complete with those we love and love us back. It's about harmony and love that is reciprocated. And when this happens, we feel a sense of emotional fulfillment. This is why this card is also referred to as the happy ever after card. It's when all feels right and good to the world because of the love we have in our lives. It could also speak to family or our idea of a perfect family. Some of you could have a family with this person or wish to have one with them. Or they could be wishing for a fairy tale ending with you. Alright, now what is the general energy of your love life? We've got the Queen of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. We have two queens in your spread and I feel that this could be a third party situation for some of you. Or there may have been a love rivalry here. One that stirred much jealousy and possessiveness in you or seriously threatened your sense of security in this connection. For others of you, it could be that you wanted a deeper commitment with your person but they weren't ready for it or they weren't willing to take a risk. It's like they were okay with the way things were and didn't see why there was a need to change it or why they should give more and move from their position. They weren't willing to compromise is what I'm getting. In any case, this really broke your heart because you were holding on to them a little too tightly and didn't want to let them go, even though you knew your needs were not being met and it hurt a lot to stay. I do feel that you eventually got your balance back and learned to take charge of your life again and that you're now feeling more secure and confident in yourself. You're more centered and in control now is what I'm getting, which is really good for you. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, and we also have Aquarius, Sagittarius, and Leo in your spread. Alright, now how does your person feel about you? We've got the Two of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. I feel they realize now that they made a wrong decision. They know they really dropped the ball here. They made a poor choice and now they're feeling deeply sad and remorseful. There's deep regret here I feel. They're feeling disappointed in themselves because they know they let you down completely. And I feel they miss the love they had with you. I feel they've been missing you. And there's not only a desire, but a committed effort to improve the state of your relationship and make long-term plans with you again. I feel they want to offer the kind of commitment you wanted, but which they failed to give you in the past. And I feel they want to make it real with you this time. You see how her hands are on her face and she's holding on to 
these strings but her hands are really not on these orbs and also here she's not holding any of the bowls but here they've got the pentacle they're holding it with both hands and there are roots sprouting there's a plant growing on this pentacle here it's like this time around they really want to take care of your connection and nurture it and make it grow all right now how do you feel about your person we've got the star the hand man and the queen of cups it took a lot for you to recover from this experience is what i'm getting i feel you distanced yourself and took the time and space you needed in order to heal and this wasn't easy for you at all i feel this is why you're not quite sure what to make of this new offer from them on one hand, you value this hard-earned freedom and recovery and healing from all the heartache you had to go through with them. Yet on the other, you know you still love them a great deal. You still feel so strongly connected to them that it almost feels like a wish come true now that they're trying to come back to you. It's almost like your faith and love is restored and all you want to do is surrender and there is a sacrifice here that you need to make and i feel you're leaning on letting your heart lead the way i feel you're willing to see things differently this time for instance what you saw as an obstacle in the past may now be looking like an opportunity to you you love this person deeply that's for sure and I strongly feel that they want to start over with you all right now what do you need to know about this connection we've got the knight of pentacles the knight of swords and the seven of cups decisions decisions should you stay or should you go do you think long term with this person all over again knowing it all might take forever to rebuild or do you let rationality gain from experience rebel and make a quick run for the exit you've already been disillusioned by this love before and you certainly wouldn't want to make the same mistake the thing is you won't know for sure unless you give it a try all right now what is the outcome for you my dear gemini we've got the page of cups the king of cups and the eight of wands i feel they've really matured now from a page to a king i feel they're more emotionally mature now and i feel they've grown by leaps and bounds this is progress here all right they've got big love for you and there's this offer of love and peace again right here lots of communication here back and forth between this king and queen of cups pure love great match great fit i feel you're still very much in love with each other and that at the end of the day you both genuinely want to work things out between you especially if you do have a family together and if you thought that their love slipped away from you before you see this bowl here floating upwards from him it's back right here with the king of cups i feel they're now making sure that love stays in one place which is with you and i do feel you will make swift progress here against all odds i'm hearing against all odds this is also Cupid's arrows. This could point to a relationship taking off or being really in love with someone. You just might get that happy ending after all, my dear Gemini. The happy ever after you've been wishing for. Alright, it's time for your oracle cards for further guidance. Speak with your mistress to you have a meditation in your hands. I'm giving you self-connection. 
demonstrate. Thank you. Demonstrate love. Find out what is important to those you love and act on it. All right. Thank you, Spirit. One more. Please one more message from the Thank you. Thank you. Get to know each other. Learn to meet another's need for love. All right. Look at the king and queen of cups right here. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Spirit. And honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of your deck, love makes the difference. Love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. Beautiful. All right. And this is what I have for you this week, my dear Gemini. Thank you for joining me here today and for being part of my channel. I send you love, light, hope, healing, and many blessings. Raise the vibe and sparkle on.